Alright guys, so I had like an idea that this may come out, um, but it was kind of funny because my friend Jason Voorhees 2011 said, hey, we might get a trailer for, for the new trailer for Far From Home uh, now, and I'm like, okay, I've heard rumors before, so let's see what happens. Nope, sure enough, after two weeks of Endga after Endgame's been out, uh, out comes Far From Home, which has a ton of spoilers for Avengers Endgame. Like seriously, a lot. Starting off with something I was hoping they would cover in Far From Home, um, after watching Endgame, finally, was how is Peter going to take Tony's death? You know, Iron Man's gone um, after saving the world from Thanos, and now he's really trying to come to terms with it because he feels like, yeah, I'm the new, you know, I'm the new line in the sand. You know, the Avengers are still around, but, you know, he really trusted me. You know, he trusted me to be that new legacy, that new fire. So... That's what's, you know, that's what to what Peter's kind of going through, and I'm hoping that they'll really cover, um, you know, his, uh, you know, losing Tony was equivalent to losing Uncle Ben. I'm really hoping they go into him, you know, him kind of like, yeah, this was another, you know, blow for me. I lost, you know, I lost my parents, I lost my uncle, and now I've lost another fa father figure. So... That's what I'm hoping they really go into with that, is just him dealing with all of all of that at once. Um, and also dealing with the fact that he's like, oh yeah, I died! You know, I, I got dusted. So, uh, what do I do? Uh, what do I do now? That's, uh, that's interesting. So, what I also like was there's this fun moment where it was like, you, it, he, um, Happy is, uh, tells him, hey, you got a call from Nick Fury. He's like, I, I, I'm going on vacation. What do, what do I do? He's like, you ghosted Nick Fury? And I'm like, oh no, you don't ghost Nick Fury. You, uh, Nick Fury ghosts you. Um, with a bullet. But thankfully that's not the case, because we know that him and Nick Fury are teaming up to, uh, to what I thought at first was taking on Mysterio, but no, they're teaming up with Mysterio. Yeah. Because this throws out a curveball, this trailer throws out a curveball I was not expecting so soon after Endgame, all, all the events of Endgame, and that is multiverse, yeah, apparently Quentin, this version of Quentin Beck is from the multiverse, and Sandman, Hydro Man, and, multi, and Molten Man are all from that same multiverse. Now, I'm like, now, on one hand, yeah, the multiverse and Spider-Man have p kind of been a thing, so are we getting the Spider-Verse soon? Does that mean we could be getting Miles, you know? Could that mean we're getting Miles Morales uh, very soon? That could be the case. Um, but, that could, you know, the on the other hand, I'm still under the impression that uh, Mysterio is bullshitting everybody. My... Uh, my thing is that I think Mysterio is bullshitting everybody because the idea of a heroic Mysterio is kind of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, but on the other hand, maybe it's a combination of both. Maybe Mysterio is pretend is from the multiverse, but he's pretending to be a hero so he can get help um, with whatever plans he's working with. Uh, this version of Mysterio, at least. Because yeah, I find it hard to believe that Mysterio in any multiverse is a good person. But I had this, you know, I don't know if they would really want to make Jake Gyllenhaal a here, you know, a villain. But then again, go see the watch the movie Nightcrawler and then come back and tell me he wouldn't make a good villain. Um anyway, so yeah, I'm surprised they're the second movie in and we're already dealing with multiverse stuff. You know, um I guess they really want to bring in Miles Morales faster than they intended. Like, uh, I guess they really, really want to bring in Miles Morales at some point. But then again, there was a five-year time skip, so maybe Miles is a little older now, like uh, Cassie was in Endgame. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how I feel about Mysterio being the multi being in the multiverse and possibly being a legit hero. I don't know how, that, how to feel about that. But on the other hand, I'm like, I mean, it's cool that we're doing multiverse stuff, but on the same hand, I was like, I don't know how to feel about that right out the gate with the second movie, and talking about multiverse stuff right after the the, um, the epic that was Endgame, maybe give us some breathing room in between these story arcs. But maybe because the other big thing the Russos want to do, wanted to do before leaving um, the, uh, the, the MCU for a little bit 
was basically do secret wars. And, you know, depending on which secret wars it is, the secret wars was dealing with the second one, at least by Jonathan Hickman, dealt with a lot of multiverse stuff coming together. So maybe this could be, like, um, the idea for that is that maybe maybe they're do this could be their way of, you know, setting up for, for Secret Wars as the next big um, Avengers event. You know, when we get from Endgame, then we get to Avengers Secret Wars. Uh, that could be easily the case. And, you know, what, who knows what else. Um, but anyway, I think that's really cool. I also dug... Um, I also thought it was funny how, um, it was fun, uh, you know, it was kind of fun watching this version of MJ with, P you know, with Peter, and he's like, I'm, and he's trying to say in love, and he's like, no, you're, he's like, I know you're Spider-Man, he's like, no, I'm not, and he's like, no, it's totally obvious you're Spider-Man, I'm like, thank you, because if you guys remember, in the comics, yeah, P you know, MJ always knew at some capacity that, uh, Peter was Spider-Man, because I was your next door neighbor, dumbass! I saw Spider-Man go in and out of your house. So, yeah, I always knew you were spy. You know, I knew you were Spider-Man. Um, so that was, uh, you know, I always thought that was kind of fun. Uh, you know, I think that's kind of funny that they're like, no, you know, secret identities and what have you. It's like, no, I know you're Spider-Man. Um, I also am hoping that we get to see more of Happy in, you know, of Happy's reaction, because, yeah, the dude lost, uh, essentially, a friend and someone, you know, he, um, you know, he tried to protect and failed miserably. But what I also, you know, I can't help but, you know, I think of Endgame and I think of that scene with, uh, hit, with uh, Happy and Tony's daughter and he's like, oh, okay, I'll get you cheeseburgers. I'll get you all the cheeseburgers in the world. <laughs> And I'm like, ah! That scene destroyed me, by the way. That scene just destroyed me. Um, so yeah, I am really excited for the, you know, I'm excited for this. I'm not sure how to feel about multiverse heroic Mysterio yet. I'm still under the impression that he's bullshitting everyone because Mysterio is the master of illusions. And I, you know, it would be hard, difficult to trick Nick Fury, but Mysterio once tricked Wolverine into killing the entire X-Men, so just saying, you know, if anyone could possibly pull a fast one on Nick Fury, it might be Quentin Beck playing the greatest illusion of all time. So, just saying. I mean, would it be cool if it's multiverse? Yeah, I would be cool with it. Um... But having said that, though, I'm kind of hoping that, it'll, you know, Myster it's a all a big ploy by Mysterio to play some master plan or what have you. So, yeah, totally. I am looking forward to this. I think this is going to be cool. Um, and I'm just looking forward to seeing, you know, t you know, Peter trying to pick up the pieces uh, what to do post-Endgame. You know, I'm really excited to see where they're going because this is our first look of the Marvel Universe post endgame and it's going to be you know it's going to be a cool um sight to see so you guys tell us here at comic universe what do you guys think what did you guys think of the spider-man far from home second trail do you guys like it hate it do you think quentin beck is from the multiverse or do you think he's bullshitting everyone or do you think it's a combination of both um i'm leaning more towards it's all bullshit but you never know so that's what I'm kind of leaning towards, but I'm all, we're always curious to see what you guys have to say here on Comic Universe. Just comment below, let me know, and if you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's Mighty Subscribers. I'm DPZ, and on behalf of everyone here, we will see you right here once more in the multi- the universe. Almost said multiverse.